action. They just, uh, they just made me head of development. Okay. So I've been in the, the office, the, the, development, the development office for the last six months or so. So I don't understand. I don't really know what I have to do as head of development as opposed to part development. That's um, odd. Because I'm not getting any more money for it. But it seems as though... Well, my question would be, why would they give somebody a job if he doesn't know what his job is going to be? It seems a little weird to me that... that well, first of all, must they must think that you can do it. I, I think it's come it out... Is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's come out of um, the, the cutbacks. So really all they're doing is they're... Saving money. Yeah, so it's not <laughs> as though that I'm doing cheap labour, being head of <laughs> being head of development, as a more a case of being development and head of development, as opposed to they've taken away my, you know, like they've got rid of one of my line managers. Oh, I see. So what they, <laughs> so what you're going to do is exactly what you've been doing, with more responsibility and no more money. Yeah, because of, because of these cutbacks that they brought into the into the company. So um, hold on. If you're head of development and you're already in development, who are you head of? <laughs> I'm basically become a wanker. You're a chief. You have. <laughs> you're a wanker. <laughs> Excellent. So you're a chief and an Indian yeah. and a wanker. Yeah. So they've just cut the department in half. And, um, <laughs> and you're both halves. Yeah. <laughs> you're, the you're a total wanker. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? Hi, how are you? I just wanted a word. Um, management just wanted me to check on you that you're okay with your new responsibility. And yeah, yeah. It's a huge change, isn't it? It's going to be massive. Massive, he's a massive wanker. Yeah. Oh, right. Sorry, okay. I just, yeah, no, just, no, uh, no, just yeah, uh, something we uh, talked about. Sure, sure. No, it's, it's just important that um, we work on and so I've been saying some management said, um, could you come oh, in my for lunch? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, so we can talk about things like people skills and levels of communications and stuff. So, so we can send on some more courses. Yeah, just sort of things like Management courses. skills and yeah. intercourses. Yeah. In case I've got a problem. <laughs> in case I've got a problem with myself. The company. Pardon? Because I've got a problem with myself. Because I'm line managing myself now. <laughs> well, do you think you're going to yourself any trouble? Well, this is it. I have to go to some of the confrontation. Well, dealing think, with confrontation. Uh, yeah, you're the psychiatrist. How is he going to do that? He's well, even like personalities. Yeah, I, th I think the problem here is that we're also experiencing a lot of grief over the people that the company have let go. So oh, yeah, lots of grief. it's a funny atmosphere at the moment. And how are we going to cope with it? And you will be. It would be one of your roles to make sure that people around you are feeling okay. How do you know? Sorry, I've got to start dealing with the emotional problems in the office. Well, Is why? that really? Because I honestly didn't well, realize. As well. As developing the, the, what we've got four or five projects at the moment that I. Uh, yeah, it's just important that everyone's aware of what's going on and that we're not lying to ourselves. And well, what I, I don't understand is why I, I, I've got to look after the emotional welfare of people that are not. No, no, even... primarily of yourself. Oh, right, okay. What so I don't get that. is how have all these people lost their jobs and you've still got yours? <laughs> 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 I don't know, you can do Seriously, I really like you, really lovely, and really lovely. But the thing is that we get rid of all the people who can actually. Do something, and then we keep you. But they kept you as well. <laughs> yeah, I do something. I, I direct the show. You can't have a show without a director. But what is it you actually? I mean, what is it you actually bring to the table? Really? It's <laughs> 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 amazing. I mean, this guy here doesn't know what he's supposed to be doing, right? I'm he's like QT. I completely know what. Sorry, he knows what he's supposed to be doing, but he's like head of development, right? And right. So he's, you know, 
I mean, but... To me, it doesn't seem like you know what you're doing here, really. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Do you? I totally know what right. I'm doing here. Okay. I, I, I direct the show. And then uh, everything should be okay? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you after lunch. <laughs> yeah, I was coming straight Bye. Bye. Ooh. <laughs> she grabs me up. <laughs> you get rid of all these people and do something. you got the shrink that stays behind to deal with all. Give it all the leftovers. But I liked how she was trying to sort of uh, get some of her work off and do it as well. Exactly. You know, exactly. Looking exactly. after the emotional welfare of, you know, of myself. <laughs> of the emotional welfare. You're Scottish. You probably haven't looked at your emotional welfare ever, have you? <laughs> <sighs> Because this, 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 the, the funeral pyre job is kind of wasn't, wasn't even mine to begin with. It was the, yeah. It's, so it was head of developments actually. Well, that's your first job, isn't it? It is going to be my first job. To take that on the road, because uh, well, I was hoping for the from, from the help from our resident psychiatrist, oh, really? because she's the one with the inside information on all. Really? Well, she's oh, brought the idea of the road. So I was Maybe kind of, back in. Well, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I mean, uh, now I'm gonna go and see her afterwards after lunch. I'll go yeah. And chat with her. Yeah. Maybe she'll get you to lie down in her office and you can tell you about tell her about your childhood. This coffee. Yeah. <laughs> have you seen any of the people who have got in for this stuff who have been auditioning? I um, mean, it's the auditioning to die is. Uh, I mean, it's one of those stupid, sad people we have to deal with. Oh well, I've got to finish my book. Yeah. Lunch is almost over. I shall speak to you. See you later.